everyone, this is Jackie again, and I have a completed project, and it's one of these little chipboard albums that i gotten from Michaels. And the paper I used is Recollections. It's just one of those Recollection paper stacks, the 180 or 240 sheet, you know, whatever it was um, that I got. Um, buy one, get one free. So um, all throughout the album, it's just... Um, different patterns of the same paper pad, you know, just a recollections paper. And then on the side, um, it's just an assortment of satin and organza ribbon, and then just some fibers, some fun fur, and then this white lace. And this particular album only came with the one ring, and if I had any more of those O-rings, I would have used my big bite and, you know, put at least one more, but um, I don't have any, so... So as I mentioned, um, I put Recollections paper, and only the front cover and the back cover got a coat of Mod Podge because I figure, you know, that's going to be handled the most, so um, I wanted to seal those. And then I did whitewash it prior to uh, putting down the Mod Podge. And then this is just a Recollections bling, and I don't know if this was one that was gifted to me or one I already had. You know, I've received um, several from some very kind people, so I decided I needed to start using them instead of hoarding them. And this little frame is one of those recollection lace frames. And then this is just some flat back pearl trim that I had in my stash. Some more of the recollections paper. This is one of those little metal um, words from Michaels. And it was silver. I used a gold paint marker and then I um, whitewashed it. And these are some flowers from my stash. This um, cream colored one, these white ones. The little brown ones are some Recollections flowers. I whitewashed everything. Um, these are some trico leaves. And then this is another little nest that I made using um, some twine and then some little beads to serve as the eggs. And then there's some random beads here and here. I used a Martha Stewart punch to punch these out of some out of some gold cardstock, gold colored cardstock. What is happening to the color? Um, and then I whitewashed them and edged them with some distress ink. And I don't, I think it's the tea dye. And then I um, put a pearl in the center of the largest one. This one, similar arrangement, um, some beads tucked in and um, this little bird was white and I painted it blue and then I also distressed it and whitewashed it and then there's um, beads in the center of the the recollections flowers I just used some little ivory colored beads for the center so that's that and then I just alternated um, similar to the other album that I made I'm just alternated you know kind of a, a blank page and then one that I embellished a little bit more just to try to keep as much room as I could for pictures. And then this is just a strip of paper that I cut in a coordinating uh, pattern and just used my decorative edge punch. And then there's some flat back pearl trim. This one just a little bit wider strip and then some um, cotton trim that I'd gotten from Hobby Lobby. I don't know what keeps happening to the color. Okay, let's see. Now it's not focusing. Okay. And then this um, little Polaroid, it's, uh, I actually got it from Michaels and I don't remember the brand. And I was going to make my own, but when I saw these, you got five or six for like $1.99 and I figured, well, I'll get it, use it as a template. And, you know, I'll never have to buy any more again. But um, I did emboss it, use some clear embossing powder just to kind of make it shiny and then I put some black cardstock in the back and then you can you can barely see the this pattern of the recollections paper in the back but I, you know I really like that and then that's just a recollections flower and then this is a little camera that I'd gotten from Saw from her Zibit shop I put a little black cardstock in the back and then I just used a clear bling for the lens and um, I embossed it with black embossing powder and then I just used some gold and silver um, what do you call that stuff rub and buff and then I also I mod podged it because it kind of 
rubbed off on this front cover a little bit, so I modged podged it to keep the color on. And then this is, um, oh, what is this? Oh Lord, tiny text, and I off the top of my head I can't remember who makes that, but I'd gotten it from Joanne's, and it just said tell your story with pictures. And when I saw this sentiment, I knew right away I was going to use the camera, and that I wanted to find a Polaroid template to um, you know, you know, make a little frame there. And all the all the pages have been um, distressed. You know, I've used distress ink, and then there's another. Um, kind of blank, you know, page for pictures, and then some more of that cotton trim. This one's in an ivory color, and then some flat back pearl trim on this side. And I tried to alternate that too. If I used cotton on one side, then I used the flat back pearl on the other, you know, just so that they weren't too too bulky. And then this is one of those um, the Tim Holtz um, tattered clocks, and then some more of the recollection paper. And then these are some velvety leaves that I'd gotten from Irene. And so I used those and they were whitewashed. This is a Recollections flower. And then here's a little air dry clay butterfly. And then this memory, it's a um, vellum. And I'd gotten this from Joann's and I think it's that Studio G stuff that you can get there. And I backed it on some ivory cardstock and then I backed that onto some brown cardstock. And then here's another kind of blank page and then just some ivory trim there. And then this one I made a pocket and that's some recollections paper and then I used that same edge punch and then this is just some kind of really nice velvety trim that was in a kind of green tone that I thought went nicely with the paper. And I made um, just a couple tags to tuck in there with some paper from the collection. And then there's nothing on the back, um, just a coat of uh, Mod Podge. And I still, I still need to sign it, but yeah, there's my little album. Made for no one in particular. I'll probably send this to work with Jack to see if anybody would be interested in it. So there's my little album. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.